This is complicated stuff with the whole import export stuff. I should really do the tutorial sometime. I don't think I the tutorial. Game I, I never played a tutorial of this game, honestly. Yeah, I know, me neither, but you know, maybe it would say and explain this thoroughly. I have no idea. The, one of the main complaints that uh, Paradox gets for their game, or their their later, their early games, rather, like this, before they went on to CK2 and, and so on. Because CK2 was the turning point in both the UI, the visual display, you know, and everything. How they present it. Mm. Uh, and uh, still a lot of flack for lack of tutorials, and Victoria 2's tutorials aren't very good. At least not in my opinion. The little I tried of it. But I'm generally against tutorials to begin with. Yeah, I mean, a game should be simple enough to play on. You know, obviously... You need some kind of like introduction to the game, yeah. probably. But uh, well, I should I should uh, correct myself and say that I'm not against tutorials. I just don't like playing tutorials. Yeah, me neither. They they feel like something like they feel like school a bit. You know, you have to instead of I don't know. It's not very exciting. Yeah. So it's more I, I like it when they integrate it more into the gameplay, but when they make it optional, so you yeah, don't optional have exactly. To. I hate forced tutorials. Yeah, for example, in, I don't know, take a game like, um, well, actually, I don't know. I, I can't think of a game where I really annoyed the tutorials, or I was annoyed by the tutorial, but uh, always like in action games where you learn the moves and stuff, you know, you, you it's always, it's not very spread out. It's like the first three levels are just like a tutorial or an excuse for a tutorial. Yeah, very true. See, uh, this is getting pretty Greece. annoying with the crisis always in East Mac uh, Macedonia. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put myself on the fence, waiting for anyone to pick it up. No, no one did. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Greece, they're trying so hard to get Thessalia uh, free. The commun oh, oh, communists, now it begins. <laughs> I mean, you can. This game is so micromanaged heavy if you want it to be. I guess that's the the best part about it because it can be for those who want to micromanage all the industries and where they are and what they produce and everything like that. Or you can go let it auto, uh, automate and you can concentrate on bigger macro sort of things like uh, which area to conquer. And... Yeah, that that is a very good thing actually that you can kind of like make it into the game that you want or you know you can orient the game a bit like you want it in a sense yeah and i'm starting to have rebels again north german anarcho liberals uh i should put him down voters rights what is this what i do do i have not have voters rights uh voting rights political i mean i guess it's political parties that i want yeah, I, I right now have a political party set to harassment, <laughs> which I guess is better than underground. But harassment doesn't sound very good. I have risen to the oh. top, top of the world. I am, I'm at the top of the world. I have anarcho-liberal or anarcho-anarchist rebels as well. Are they uh, causing you any trouble? Not really, just a hassle. Yeah, they tend to be... I'm gonna get some more commerce technology, it's always good with commerce. And all your armies are in Finland, typical. Well, I know what happens when I don't keep them there. Russia invades and I lose Finland pretty much. I have a feeling that Russia will invade nonetheless. Oh, damn. Oh, actually, I do have a lot of rebels in Flensburg on the German border. I can border. send an army for that. How nice of you. That's kind of what I was asking. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I just wrap, wrapped it in a... just generally speaking. The of first it. day they lost 10,000 men. Oh, again, I wonder why my economy is tanking all of a sudden. And then, of course, liberals. Yep, the liberals. Always a problem. We hate them liberals. Urgh. Of course, of course. Dribbles are just a bunch of problem, and I don't think I've heard this this track before. 
Uh, yeah, I noticed. Uh, I watched uh, one of our previously released videos, and you have a lot of tracks that I don't have because you have the you have more expansions than I do. I think, and could be something like that. It could also. Yeah, it could be the expansions or music packs or whatever I've added in. Because because you had that um, oh, what's that tune the like the famous one that's always connected to like uh, the American Civil yeah, War. I can't remember the song of it or the name of it. Is it like? Yeah, no. Sorry, I was gonna imitate a song, but then I realized it wasn't that one. <laughs> it's similar to another song, but it, it's it's yeah. a good. I, I like that tune. I like that tune. Which. I like one of my generals is named Bernardot instead of Bernadot. <laughs> so it's like a fake royal. Could oh, joke, damn, buddy. that's true. I don't have... Um... Oh, thank goodness I won. My military isn't doing very well, so... Uh, they... Um... As a result, they're not doing very well in handling rebels, actually. So. Oh. Borås has been taken. Yes. Sweden Damn. is got at this rate you might collapse. At this rate, yes, but I intend to stop that rate. Good. Good. I am preparing for an invasion of where? Where do you think? Um is this like a game show, but it's actually of terrible human consequence. Yes. Um I think you... Hmm, I don't know. Is it Russia? Could be in the West. Is it Netherlands? France. France? I need Alsace-Lorraine to uh, create <laughs> Germany. Prussia. Oh, Germany, okay. What do you Free need to create Prussia? I, I was Prussia when I started. Oh, sorry. I forget which uh, order... God damn it. I could also... Oh, I should try to... I always have a truce with Austria. It's, it's sad. I always have a truce with them. I want to add them to my sphere of influence. Um... <laughs> what? Country virtually the size yeah, of you. Yeah, but they're another great power. And if I have them under my influence, you know, uh, when I click free harass for Germany, I get all of Aust Austria. Austria is interesting because, uh, yeah, that would be terrible, by the way. Um, or like, I don't know, terrible, impressive, whatever. Terrible, um, impressive. I like how when you click around on Austria, it's so culturally diverse. It's like Slovenians, Hungarians, there's like all kinds of people, South Germans. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the big problem, though. Germany, at least, we have... North Right Italian. now, I only have North Germans. It's easy. Except for uh, Bohemia, where there are a lot of chicks. A lot of chicks. If only. If only. Uh, I only have 39,000. What happened to the last... What is it that I need? Artillery. Where is it? I've, my units failed me. Okay, I have to build it myself. One artillery piece coming up. Well, I think there are more than one artillery piece in that brigade because it would be fairly terrible with just one cannon. Well, on the good, uh, in the good news, I am doing better economy-wise now. I have my national army stockpile up to full again, so that's good. I'm gonna close down some of these uh, bankrupt factories. I'm gonna have to do it better the next time because for the longest time I've just kept reopening them, but they're always bankrupt anyway, so it's a waste of money. Let's see, which is the. Oh god, I'm pretty far behind United Kingdom when it comes to industrial power. They are my ally, but I want to. I want to lead in everything. I want to be the best, like no one ever was. You want to be the very best. A lot of building noises, or com buildings has been completed noises. To train them is your cause. Indeed. I'm gonna see... Population. 
uh, laborers for none. You know, it feels like I have a lot of craftsmen, but only 10% of my people are craftsmen. Well, that's quite a lot though, but... It is a fair bit, but... I wonder, how does it look for me? I have... I only have 4.3% craftsmen, so... But then again, our countries are kind of not very similar in that aspect. I think my country is more of a farming community. Well, a lot of my people are, are farmers too. I'm going to see uh, exactly how it is here. 41% of my people are farmers. Uh, 44 here. What's your second place? Laborers. 31,000. Uh, first, thirty-one percent of you. <laughs> okay, well, in that sense, we're pretty similar. I guess we must differ in the others, because I have farmers forty-four, laborers thirty-three, and then uh, the the closest one after that is artisans with six percent. Uh, I have craftsmen ten percent, artisans five percent, soldiers three percent, bureaucrats three percent, clergymen three percent. <laughs> A lot of three percenters. And just a, a few aristocrats yeah. and 0.2% capitalists. What? VL Capot? There's a crisis concerning oh, the liberation Poland. of Poland. Uh, isn't that no, from you? No, it's from Russia. <sighs> oh, from Russia. Um, well. But it could have been me. I think I'm. Yeah. I might be interested in joining Poland for that, actually. Wielkopolsk. Fantastic name. Yes, it is. Trademarks lowered factory costs by 2%. Yes, we are interested in the crisis and we're gonna join Scandinavia automatically. Italy is supporting the Russian Empire for what reason? Our ally. Well, that explains it. Maybe we will be enough to persuade Russia to surrender. Because I, as I said, my military power is unrivaled in the world. Yes. Russia and Italy on the other side. Well, hmm. This will be interesting. It will be, indeed. I don't really have the economy to go to war, though, but... Well, then again, in, in that case, Russia you could always uh, white peace. Should be fine. I suppose, but it would be nice to see a free Poland. Well, not really, but it would be nice Transvaal. to see a decimated Russia. Transvaal wanted to oh. have military access. But why, exactly? What is France, France doing? France is in a war with United Kingdom and Transvaal. Mm hmm. Interesting. Is it colonial war? I guess. I think so. Let's see. Mainly, yeah, South Africa. Conquest of Transvaal war. All right. Who started France. it? France. And they're losing badly. So far, at least. So far. Well, I want more time-saving, time-saving sa measures. Oh no, our favorite uh, oh, oh, French oh, 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 region oh, 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 in the world. Uh, 29 days would the crisis turn into war, by the way. We want to be on top of that. All right. Is it is it possible to have white peace? Uh, I don't know. Um, proposed solution. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna try to reject it. They don't take white peace. Um, no, it seems not. Or hang on, that is a problem. I now now I can't do anything, you know, because it's five days left, but I can't send another. Or hang on, propose solution. I guess I. Offer peace terms. Well, they, they, want, they no. want to acquire Finland. We can't accept that, so we'll have to go to war. Interesting. 
so many wars against Russia. Yep. Either I, I'm not sure if they love Finland or if they hate us. Maybe a bit of both. Possibly a bit of both. I'm gonna lower the speed now too. Yeah, sounds good. And Austria did not join the war. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Russia joined the war against Russia. And let's expel the Russians from our territory. And this is nice because for once, when we are when we are at war with Russia, we have, or you know, you can advance a bit more freely than rather than to have to deal with. Or hang on. No, okay, Netherlands is not in the war no, now. They are busy in another war. Oh, Russian army. Thou fate is sealed. I mourn thee. I do not mourn. <laughs> I'm a cold-hearted bastard. Thou deserveth. Yes, yes. How many Russians are you fight facing? Um, roughly 100,000 maybe in the area. I can't call in... Uh, you're, you're the war leader, I think. Yes, you are. You are the war leader. <laughs> but I still can't add no, war goals. Not so no, I don't thus know. far, but you will be able yeah, to. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it will be funny if I won't be able to this time either. Oh, Jesus. 60,000 Russians. Oh, there's a lot no of uh, Italians here. Holy Italian moly. There are a lot of them. Oh yeah, you have Italian. Italian, Italian. <laughs> Everywhere Italians. The problem with Italians is that they are a lot more technologically advanced than the Russians. And there is a ton of them. Let's hope they join our side of the war instead. <laughs> Um, somehow I have a feeling they won't. Well, they are unpredictable Holy as look, uh, near Prague if you are even able to. Yeah, I see, I see you're a huge army. Massive there. stack of soldiers. That should deal with even the most pesky Italians, I think. Yes, unfortunately we'll cause a lot of attrition for me but I'm hoping hoping that it won't deal too much damage to me I'm gonna prepare two of my armies are gonna move out towards uh, Budijovic I think it's called oh interesting um, <laughs> uh, Italy has launched an invasion of Denmark they have could you could you move your uh army near the Dutch border maybe there. One second. I'm gonna look into it. Should be enough. I'm taking the Italians very seriously though. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that I'm, I'm attacking only when I have supreme majority. Except for, uh, except for in uh, in Denmark, where I'm losing soldiers due to not attacking in supreme majority. I can't even oh. retreat with them, and I'm losing them fast. Get back here! Get back! Oh, there we go. There's a lot of Russians in my country, which is kind of like a problem. Kinda, huh? I I also seem to be able, or um, seem to be losing. Uh, a naval battle in uh, on my west coast. Where's my fleet? Oh, it's way up here. I'm sending my fleet. Unfortunately, I can't call in my allies into this war. They want to vote. Vo uh, voters' right. Okay, you have voters' right. No, I picked the wrong one. This is gonna radicalize them. This is not good. Not good at all. Open all factories. 
People need to work. That's People an order. Need to work. Or I, I need them oh. to work. <laughs> Actually, we have received a, a offer of peace from the Russian Empire. They are offering us the following terms. Poland requires all states with a core province. Should I accept? Uh, not yet. I mean, I'm beating back the Italians everywhere they show up. I'm beating back the Russians. How, how is it going on your front? I was going... Okay. Well, ah. take, take a gander. <laughs> Can you add any war goals by any chance? Uh, I feel like... You no, know, I still can't. The war is not going well enough. Can I add any war goal? Uh, we require... Six point or basically seven percent support for jingoism in our country, but we only have maybe that's yeah. why then. So, why is not jingoism increasing? How, how, uh, how much is it increasing every day if you hold over? Uh, where do I have that? You have again? to go to oh, add a you see, uh, and you know, if you hold over, this, the number will change either lower or increase the amount of jingoism that you have, or support for jingoism. Yeah, uh, hang on, we need, I need to pause. This is crazy because I'm having so. I mean, my, I'm having so many foreign soldiers in my country. So, um, let me see. Hmm. Oh. This is very complicated. Uh, let me see. Purpose peace. No, how do I do this again? Show Bad wars. Go, hold over it. Oh yes, there we go. It doesn't say how much it's, it's nope, increasing. No, you at have all. to watch it over the days as days go by. It will increase and decrease. Okay. Okay, I thought you meant some kind of number. Um, is it increasing or is it decreasing? It's slightly increasing. It's about five point six now, and I need seven. Hmm. Should we take? Should we take the but piece? Yeah, I think so. It's you know, it's too massive here. Yep. You know, because they they're going quite easy on you. No, but I'm no, the Italians it. made a full front assault, and they're coming up with eighty-seven more. Yeah, the Italians, but the Russians. Oh, the, the Russians I mean, yeah, I'm Russians facing didn't, uh... a couple of hundred thousands here. So. Oh, look at Poland. There we go. Beautiful. Yours. If you by beautiful mean not beautiful at all. If by beautiful you mean abs absolutely terrible. Where is the capital? Uh, it must be somewhere here, is it not? Wait, where is the capital? Uh, I can't question. find the capital. Am I blind? I could be blind. How do you see There's that like again? like this I forget little the... red, uh, you know, re you know that thing, oh, yeah. that whole circle thing. Red rings. And unfortunately, it's pink, so it's hard to see. Hmm. Poland, where is the capital? <laughs> Maybe it does not exist. Pinsk, no. No. Kielce, no. Radom, no. Lodz, no. Kielis. Oh, there we go. It's behind the fort icon. So if you go to uh, the little exclave they have in my country. Right? Oh, yeah, I see it. It's I hidden see it. by the oh, damn that's... fort. Yeah, so it's basically a ring around the fort. Yep. So that's a strange capital. But then again, I guess we have... Most of their, I mean, Kharkov is its independent state, and you have Warsaw and stuff. So. Yep, yep. Let's see, Polish infantry, the best infantry in the world. All right, but if we have freed Poland, maybe that's a good end note for this yeah, time. Sounds like that. So we shall see you next time. Thank you for now.